I say the word diet, what comes to mind? For me, I think of something like Jenny Craig, like Atkins, like South Beach, like Paleo, like Keto. I think of something specific that you're going to do for a certain amount of time to reach a goal, and then you're gonna go back to the way that you were eating before. Well, I'm Jessica Stortz with Stortz Wellness Associates and an independent Shackley distributor, and I'm here to tell you that that is not true. We've kind of been fed this lie, and maybe not even purposefully, but people put out there all these diets, and so everybody wants to jump on the bandwagon and do this diet. And so they go, maybe they go all in and they're successful for a little bit, but then they get tired of it and they can't sustain those changes, and so they revert back to exactly what happened. I've watched this happen with loved ones, or even myself, where I do those changes for a while and then I get tired of it because I don't like that way of eating and so I go back to what I was doing and then I get go back to the weight I was or the condition I was in but I'm here to tell you it doesn't have to be that way you can make sustainable changes make small changes or if you prefer you can go cold turkey but I find it more helpful to make little changes over time that help get me to a goal and to live a longer healthier life so I want to go over some pitfalls or some things maybe to possibly avoid or actually to do to get you to those goals. And the first one is to avoid a fad. Um, we've all heard, you know, this great new diet that comes out or this great new product and it's going to solve all of our problems and help us lose a ton of weight very quickly. And so we jump on the bandwagon and do it. And then we find out maybe a couple months later that we fell off the bandwagon or maybe our mindset wasn't right. And so we weren't successful with whatever it was we did, whether it was Weight Watchers or Jenny Craig or whatever. Um, it's more about what you do eat than what you donate. Don't eat. You always see something about like, oh, don't eat carbs. They're really bad. And, and don't eat pasta and rice. That stuff is terrible for you or no 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 don't eat any meat meat's really horrible for you or or don't consume any sort of oils oils are bad for you um you know olive oil coconut oil whatever it is don't eat any oils um you find those things and, and they say don't eat this don't eat that but i actually wanted to know what are we supposed to eat then and so I got, I found this chart of all these different diets and what they included in them. And what was interesting was across all the diets, one thing that stayed the same was vegetables. Every single one included vegetables. Some of them might cut dairy, some of them might cut grains, some of them might cut meat, some of them might even tell you to cut fruit. But what stayed the same was they all included vegetables. And so really, if you wanna cut dairy maybe for a dietary concern, whatever it is, you can. But really, we need all of the food groups for specific reasons. It's just a matter of how much of each food group you're eating. Make a small change and make that change sustainable. So maybe the first thing you do is get rid of drinking all your sodas and juices and things like that and go to just drinking water and unsweetened teas. And um, that's a great place to start. Or maybe that you're gonna just add in more vegetables. You're not gonna make a bunch of changes. You're just gonna include more vegetables at breakfast, lunch, and dinner time. Um, I've written some blog articles. Um, I can post the links to, and you can go there and see what those small changes might be, or you can contact us, and we'd love to help you walk through those small baby step changes. Um, when you make those small changes, it helps you to stick with it over time. Another thing is I don't want you to think of it as a diet. I want you to think about it as a change for life, something that you're going to do different and that you're going to stick with over time. Because when we have that mindset, it's not like, oh, I'm going to do this for a period of time and then I'm going to go back to it. You realize you're in this for the long haul. So specifically, what you can you do? All diets that I've seen also cut processed foods. You wanna limit your sugar, your potato chips, anything, even processed meats. Many of the diets cut those things. And so really when people see results, it's because we have this sad American diet and when we make any sort of change toward the healthier, we're, we naturally lose that weight. But then we gotta, like I said, sustain it over time. So avoid processed foods. You wanna eat at least half your plates and plate in vegetables. If you're trying to lose weight, carbohydrates, grains are not necessarily evil. It has to do with the kind you eat. So you don't want to eat the white pasta, the white bread. You want to eat the whole grains, the quinoa, the bulgur, the farro, things like that. So to boil it all down simply, you're going to eat real food, not too much, and mostly plants. And that is from my book I read. So eat food, not too much, and mostly plants. Be sure you're listening to your body and finding out when you're hungry or not because sometimes you're just eating out of boredom. So I know this is just a general overview. Check out some of our other videos where I go into more details about the specific food groups and what you maybe should and shouldn't eating 
should be eating and why because a lot of these things are scientifically proven and if you're looking for a scientifically proven diet the dash diet is scientifically proven to lower um, blood pressure and the mediterranean diet is um, scientifically proven as well and for some things like weight loss um, prevention of heart disease and things like that. So do your research because there are diets that are scientifically proven and you wanna make sure they're scientifically proven over a long period of time. You guys have a wonderful day.